village. You know your mother doesn't like me, eh? Darling, you don't have to bother yourself. Now that you're expecting a baby, you're about two months pregnant. I'm, I'm sure she will welcome you with Are the pregnancy. You sure? Yeah, why not? Okay. She'll welcome the uh, pregnancy. It's okay. You say Who is Mama? Um, Mama, I have come to see you. See me for what? Eh? After killing my son. What are you coming to see me for? Mama, how can you say that? I don't have hand in Louis there. It's you that killed him. Hmm? After killing him, you have the God to come inside this compound. Mama, uh, anyway, um, I, I have come to tell you that um, I'm two months pregnant for Louis. For who? For Louis. It's not Mama. for Louis. It's not for my son. My son can't do that. Mama, it's Louis. It's not for Louis. It's not for my son. My son can't do that. Mama, go, uh, go. Mama, I'm too much no, 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 no. Mama, mama. No, no, I don't. Mama, I don't to me. Get mama. out. I don't want to see you here. Yeah. Go. Get out from my face. I want a shower of love. See you. What I want to do. What I Go your way. Mama. It's George. Winch. has been pronounced as the most effective indigenous company in the country. Mm -hmm. And um, Mr. President, 
wants you to give us a quality job as the one you did across the Bambam Bridge sometime. Uh, Honorable Minister, like you know, the Bambam Bridge was uh, 20 years ago. Yeah, yeah. As we speak, our engineering is a lot more precise. That's interesting. Uh, I don't doubt you. You see, the money has been endorsed already. Yeah. And you know, I am not after the commission. I know. See, our concern right now is quality job. Well, you know, I always like working with you. Yeah, I, I think uh, we have a ministerial meeting and I'm already late. I shall call you as I follow it on. I'll send you the signed documents as soon as I'm done. Thank you very much. I think you did that. Then I'll be done. Bye. Bye. Afternoon. I'm horrible, Mr. Sir. Yeah, yeah. It's um, like yeah. you're on your way out. So. Oh, <laughs> Chief uh, General. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, thank you, sir. Yeah, I'm already up for our ministerial meeting. Uh, if you want to talk to me, please be snappy about that. Um, yes, Mr. Sir. It's about the issue we discussed last time we met. Um, yes. The issue of contrast. Exactly, exactly. Oh, sorry. You see, Chief Jonathan, I told you that the contracts have been taken up by other indigenous <sighs> companies on strict merit. This is what I told you, man. Honorable Mr. Not after I've imported heavy machinery for the job. In fact, right now, I'm talking with you. They are the wolf waiting to be cleared, sir. What do I do? Huh? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I think we have some buildings to be reconstructed uh, at the local government areas in the states controlled by our party. I think that contract will be given to you. Oh. It will be enough to take care of your foreign expenses. That's, that's wonderful. That's yeah. wonderful, sir. Um, that's wonderful. But, but, honorable minister, I, I want a contract that will shoot me up to national recognition. You know what I'm talking about, Your Excellency? Huh? <laughs> no. Chief Jonathan, yes. I think we've come to the end of this discussion. You have already taken my five minutes into the schedule time for the meeting. Good day. Good day, Excellency. Oh, can you imagine that, Minister? Can you imagine he gave out all the big words and left just crumbs for us? As if we were dogs. Can you imagine that? But I knew it from the onset, Chief. That, <sighs> that wicked greedy wretch was going to take everything. <sighs> All the plans I had made. Every plan I had. Expecting so much money. Enough money to throw around, Paul. Enough money to throw around. But I have always advised that we take the wicked wretch out of the plug of our will. I agree with your idea, but what I'm against is the approach. That's what I have a big question mark to. The approach, for the approach. Look, Chief, I have it in my hand. I have what it takes. The only way out is to take that wretch out of our way by sending him to the doors where he belongs to. And then we can walk to the government house anytime, any day, and have anything we want there. Go about the plan, okay? I'll finance it. any of them. Are you I'm not sure if somebody's after you? Well, I don't know why. Why would anybody want to kill me? 
Hmm. I don't owe anybody. I do my business openly. I don't step on toes, at least knowingly. I was just surprised that anybody want to come and attack me like this. I think you need a police only. You really need one. What for? Oh, you know what? how I feel about police orders and all that. What are they protecting me from? Besides, it is God that protects us all. But don't forget that God said we should be as wise as the serpent. Yeah. Captain, mm -hmm. I will make sure you have one police order. We can't afford to lose you now, no. You serve this country very well. Um, no, you need one. For now, just... <sighs> I stay at home for about a week or two before I start work again. You are sure no internal injury or something? No, uh, thank God that it's just more like a flesh wound. The bullet just grazed. Samson, I've been having problems of my problems ever since. Uh, yes. But you know I'm around. You know where to find me. Elizabeth, you could have just come. Huh? What did you come to do here? Um, I came to look for a job. A job? Yeah. While I'm alive. Yeah. Elizabeth. Well, um, uh, you see, this is my complimentary car. Hmm? Just come to my office first thing in the morning tomorrow. Okay. You definitely have a job. It's okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 You take care of yourself, man. Right? Thank you. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. To you. That's uh, the new office assistant attached to the office. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Elizabeth by name. Uh, okay. Um, you see this? Yes. I, I, I don't like it. I, I want even paint on, on, on the wall. All right. You know, so that it does it. Does this show any blushes? Yeah, we would we'll definitely do something about it. Huh? Uh, we'll do something about it. I hope you can work hard. I don't like people who can work hard in my office. I'll oh, she's, good. she's good. She's good. Bye, sir. And so why didn't you guys succeed? Agapo, the job not there is you. No even tell I said my get a gun. You didn't find one of my guys. What is my problem with him having a gun? Are you not a trained assassin? He had his own gun, he had your own gun, and you couldn't succeed. Why are you telling me this nonsense? Upon all the money and the mobilization I gave to you. As it be soon, and I'm saying we go try again. Try for who? You are trying for yourself. And if you go out to do anything funny and the police nabs you, make sure you don't involve me in it. Did you get me clear? Nonsense. No. Nonsense. Why are you talking like this? Agapo. Boy. 
Just take this and plant it under his table, right? It's the poor. What is this? Check it now. Do it and come to the house and have the rest of your month. It's the poor. Do what I told you. Do that. Oh. Hide it, hide it, hide it. Hide it. Look, just no mistakes. No mistakes, right? Okay. All right. I Very, very urgent, sir. Very, very urgent. What is it? Uh, when I was going home from work yesterday, mm. um, I met one man, you know, and uh, he, had, he offered me money. Uh, Ogasi, he asked me to put this thing in your office for him. What is this? I don't know. He just asked me to put it in your office. So I have to quickly come to your house this morning to tell you. If you see this man, will you recognize him? Yes. I will recognize him. I know him. I will recognize him. Just enter the car. Hmm? It's okay. Let me just put on my cap. You will follow me to the police station so I can lodge a complaint. Okay, sir. Eh? Okay, sir. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready to order now? No, thank you. Just give us some more like right. 10 minutes. Thank you, sir. Relax, okay? There's nobody better than you. It's okay. Your kind words are really assuring. Thank you. So, why are you not married? My fiance is dead. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry. I, <clears throat> it looks like we share the same fate. Um, my wife died ten years ago. Oh, I saved my sympathy. After she died, I I decided not to get married again. I just thought that um, she she was special. She was very special, and I thought that there was no way I could replicate the kind of life that we we we, we, we had. We had something very special and I didn't see any woman stepping in there and doing the same for me. I'm really sorry. It's really torture, huh? I'm sorry. So, well, <laughs> let me not bother you with that. Sorry. By the way, why why didn't you accept the money that those people offered you and do away with me? Like they wanted you to. Sir, so, you're the director of our company, and um, if anything should happen to you, it will affect me and every other person. Yes. So, that was... I've been thinking about you lately. I've, um, in fact, I, I don't want to beat, beat around the bush, like you say. 
Will you marry me? <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Yes, my dear, oh, the guy just proposed to me like that. Are you serious? I'm telling you, I don't know why. In fact, I was dumbfounded. I don't know, maybe because of um, the juju stuff now, you know? Okay. And it was after that something that he just proposed to me. Come, come, I try to sound like a fine girl. I'm so damn sure, I'm really sure. I should go my way now. Yes, I want to go by myself. Let's just, just go out. Okay. Honey. Yeah? There's something I want to tell you. Okay. to disturb you last night. Actually, I I saw the doctor and um, he confirmed that um, two months <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> yes. Mm? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. You're pregnant? Yes, two months. I never, look, I, I never thought this would, this day would come. I've been waiting for you to, to yes. tell me. Yes. I, I'm not as young as I used to be, but I'm sure I can still surprise you come here. <laughs> First, raise the draft, photocopy it before you send the draft. And then send an email or uh, a fax to Mr. Wong. Tell him that all the equipment we brought in, the manuals are in Japanese. Tell him to send us something in English. Simple. Photocopy draft, send us manual in English. Okay? Thank you. Liz? Elizabeth! Yes, coming, honey. Yes, honey. Mm. How's okay? Oh, she's fine. She's sleeping. Just leave her sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sit down. All right. I've been meaning to tell you this. Okay. After my wife died. My brother and his wife became my greatest source of comfort. Mm -hmm. And um, shortly after that, they had twins. Uh, but unfortunately, after, after they had the twins, my brother and his wife died in an, in an accident, a car accident. And since then, the twins have been under the custody of another woman at my instance. So I'm thinking that since um, we are now a family, that, um, and also that as I'm speaking now, that the woman is ill, the woman that is the, looking after the twins. She's critically ill, and since we are now a family, I'm thinking that I should bring them in here so you can uh, look after them. What? What did you say? Uh, honey, wait a minute. Are you saying you want to bring in children another woman had for you? Is that what you're saying? Another woman? No, no, they're, they're my nephew's children. <laughs> why would I tell you, why would I do that? I mean, I told you from the onset that I had no children with, with my late wife. Why, why would I not bring in, you know, children from another woman? And you think you could use your brother's story to, to, to convince me or what? Come on! No, no, look. They are my responsibility, and I'm saying that, you know, I, I've sworn to, to love them like, like, my, like, like a father, like my own. And I'm telling you because I want you to love them when, when they come in here as your own. I said no! No, no, no! Honey, for Christ's sake, God has blessed us. 
with your beautiful daughter. Why? And Hokeji remains our only responsibility in this house. Wait. I don't want any stranger in my house. No. Do you understand me? No, my nephews cannot be strangers in our house. And my love for Hokeji will not change one bit. My... I just want you to love them like your own. I don't know why you're doing this. I don't, I, I don't just know. My daughter is crying upstairs. Let me go and see her. I don't like this. Ugechi, how? How can Chiamakan Chi corrupt Ugechi? How? Jesus Christ. Huh? Are you saying I'm lying? Huh? Ever since these things came into this house, you don't believe me anymore. Huh? Please, I just don't think that the way you're trying to raise these kids is the right way. Okay? You should be building their self confidence instead of destroying it. Come on. I, I just want them. I don't want them anymore. I'm sick and tired of them in this house. I don't want them in this house. Since you can't tell me who their mother is, I don't want them in this house anymore, period. This, this we are a family now, and that's how we are going to stay. Family, okay? Family. I don't want to see these things here. I'm sick and tired of them. Come on, Liz. Don't leave me. It's our house. I'm sorry. What were you guys doing anyway? Okay, come, bring, bring, bring. Let me see. Maybe you teach, teach daddy one or two things, yeah? For what? Huh? 
she says we must stretch four times before we eat. Four times before you eat? Yes, Daddy. So you have not eaten now? Yes, Daddy. Where is your mommy? She's so Come with me. Come with me now, Hannah. Come with me. So much hate when we Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? What is it? What have I done? Why would you send the boys out to the streets to fetch water? Honey, I thought you said I should help build your self-confidence. Yes, I did. So I felt street confidence is the best for them. No, no. That is not the kind of training that I expected you to give to these boys. Honey, why are you complaining? That I asked them to go and fetch water. Is that what you're complaining? Huh? Watch what you huh. say. Watch what you say. Remember, you told me about your life's experience, your, 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 your fiancé and how he died and how you suffered and everything. With, with your kind of experience, you should be the bomb that should be soothing the lives of these boys. Taking care of them. If you want love, you must give love. And if you want favor, you must give favor. Liz, look at them. Um, honey. To tell you the truth, I just wanted to try them. I just wanted to see if they are obedient. That's all. I'm telling you. Okay. I didn't mean anything. Okay. All right. Sorry. Okay. Thanks. Please. Listen. We had mom. Mommy says she, she's sorry. Okay. Uh, Go to the bathroom now. Have a bathroom. Prepare your sister as well, Ogechi. We're all going out. Daddy's taking everybody out. Thank okay? you, Dad. All right, you guys. Dad. Okay. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Take care of my boys for me, okay? Don't worry, I will. <laughs> oh, I'm going to miss you. <laughs> I miss you too. I want you to take care of yourself, okay? Hmm? Just be careful. Mm. Safe trip. Take care of my boys. I will, come on. <laughs>
much pain, so much tears, so much hate. When we get mad, taste the stage when selfishness rules the day. Are you doing something? Enough oh, no, of no, no. what? I tried to tell you. I never but let you can't just leave the house without telling me. How can they leave this house without telling you? And what do you mean by that? It is that? not possible. I'm sure you engineered them. Me. Stop saying this. Am I your watchdog? Stop saying that for Christ's sake. Is that? Stop yelling at me. Huh? You should go out there and look for those things you call your. Don't call them things. They are children. I'm going out there to look. God help you if I don't find them. Then I'll come back here and throw you out. What do you say?
Daddy, I don't know where she went to. When Uncle Sam came to pick us from the school, we waited for her. Nobody saw her. We searched all the school premises and nobody knew her whereabouts. And this is the second time this is happening. Daddy, she has changed. Chama, guys. He's sleeping. Okay. All right, Dad. Have you guys eaten? Yes. Yes, sir. Okay. Good evening, sir. That, that good evening. Okay. Then? Where are you coming from? I. I... I, I went to Uncle Owen's house. Uncle Owen's house? Mm -hmm. Owen, I traveled three three days ago. I, I went there and they said he traveled and I came back. Okay. Right. There's something that is wrong with you. There's something very wrong with you. What? what? But I'm not going to say anything yet. Go, 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 go to your room. Kidding me, don't tell me that. I'm very serious in industrial chemistry. Oh huh? my god, congratulations! Oh, thank mm. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how's everything? Everything is fine. What have your twin brother? Uh, Tima, I just left him in the class. You know, now. it's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. You know, Ogechi is also in the school. Are you serious? Yeah, in this department. Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my She's god. in a um, Moremi hostel. Moremi hostel. I'm in the hostel and I'm going to check her out. Yeah, yeah. Just, just do that now. Yes, okay. She right. would love to see you. I'm telling you, you let me go. <laughs> all right, all right. Bye bye. Yeah, take care. <laughs> Sandra, <laughs> baby. Thank you. 
Lizbeth. For the first time, I want you to explain Ogechi's absolutely irresponsible and despicable behavior. All I have to say is that Chiemeka and Chima mm. are the cause of the problem. Eh? They caused this problem themselves. Yes, you heard me. Instead of them to mind their study, all they do is to monitor every Tom, Dick, and Harry that greets my daughter. That is all I have to say. That's all you have to say. Mm. That they visited this upon themselves, right? Mm. Well, to say that I'm disappointed in you is of a century. As for you, hmm? you know, I, I was a soldier once and life didn't mean anything to me. Because one bullet and you're dead. So we accepted that. As I stand here, I'm, I'm ready to accept every decision that I make and stand behind every decision that I make right now. As I speak, Ogi, you, you mean absolutely nothing to me. What? That's exactly what I said. You, you, you mean nothing to me. Uh, let me, let me, let me, please. You mean because of this, this bastard, eh? Please, what did you call them? I didn't, I didn't say anything. What? I, no, I didn't say anything. Well, I thought that was what you said. Nothing. No. You. You're grounded. Do you hear me? You're grounded. You miserable bastards. You think you have succeeded in... Give my daughter out of school. <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. Can you imagine this woman? Don't mind her. She can't do anything. today that he meant it. Do you understand me? Now, who is the boy? I'm talking to you! His name is Jerry. Jerry. I want to see him. Do you understand me? I want to see him. And for those bastards. Yes. I will deal with you. Chairmaker and I will deal with you. Ogechi's mother. Yes. You're welcome. Thank you. Ogechi says you wanted to see me. What is it? Um, I have a job for you. 
you have a job for me. That's why I'm here. Yes, can I help you? Where is your brother? <laughs> My brother. What do you want him for? Where is your brother? Ask. Where oh, brother? you should be in the class. What? In the class. You're under arrest. My, I'm under arrest for what? Yeah, yeah. For killing the VC. I friend, let me go. What was? Shut up. Let me see your bag. Let me see your bag. Okay, okay. If, if my bag is in your bag, let me see your bag. Shut up. Everything that happened in that bag is all shut up. I'm going to classes now. Search your bag. So shut up. Leave me alone now. Is that how you people walk around the whole school harassing students? Huh? Eh? Jesus Christ. Oh, come here. What? Is he want to use the killing the DC? How did this thing get into it? It may be his suit that put this thing inside. I said, shut up! I don't have a call. What's that? What's this one? Who is this? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, now, officer, wait. I said, there's something wrong somewhere. I don't have a call for crying out loud. Wait, it's a move. Officer, wait, now. Wait, 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 I know, Captain, but this is a very serious case. And my men are still going on with their investigations. Uh, come to think of it, the, uh, Captain. A vice chancellor is murdered right inside the university campus. And the whole country 
is watching, including the president. I'm sorry, these boys would have to be in our custody until the day we hope to arrange them in court. I'm but, sorry. But there's you know that if you demand these boys, I can produce them. I, it's me we are talking about. I know, Captain, but my hands are, my hands are tied. Huh? My hands oh. are tied. Okay, sir. See, just look at their bodies. Just look. Uh, yeah. Can't anything be done about this torture thing? They shouldn't be tortured. Okay, I'll take care of them. Huh? Both of them. I'll take care of them while they are uh, in custody. At least the wounds, I'll make sure they are well taken care of. At least that is the one I can do for you. Sergeant, take them away to the cell immediately. Yes, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the power bestowed upon me as the Chief Judge of this High Court, I hereby sentence the accused persons to death by hanging. Ask me about the boys and where mm -hmm. they come from and all mm -hmm. that. I lied to you. What? Uh, you lied to me? Well, they are there. I lied about where they come from. I said it. I said it that one day the truth will surely come out. Just, just come now, I want to know all about them. They are not my children. They are not my children and they are not my brother's children. I actually rescued them or picked them from the streets. It was, it was in um, Coca Street. Take this to kids. Uh, wait, wait. Thank God they are younger. Please, we just see two fine kids here. We don't know. We left them here. We don't know. We don't know. So what are you all doing here? Just looking for help. Oh, we should take them to the police station or to the orphanage. Please, sir, if you can do that for us, we will be happy, sir. Please, sir. Okay, well, I, I'm a retired uh, army officer, so I, I'll okay, let's help take them to... Oh. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Paid for their, their directly for their upkeep until we got married and I brought them to the house. Okay, straight. Okay.
Oh my god. Jane. Jane, I thought I begged you to help me look after these children. Eh? What if they're falling off the bed? Are they supposed to be my responsibility, eh, Elizabeth? Look, I've had enough of you and your children in this household. I've Jean. had enough. Jane, you're my friend. After I begged you, you should have told me that you, you won't take care of them. I would have taken them along to, to the shop where I went to buy food for them. Look at you, Elizabeth. You have reduced yourself to a common hack because of these children. Now, the food you went to buy, where is it? Amadi refused to give me baby food. He said I should pay up the one I've collected already from him. Listen, 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 you are my friend. The mere fact that you have these children will drag you down. You have a bright future ahead of you. You don't need these children around you. You could. You could dump this tree in the garden the next street. What? Jane! Jane, how could you say this? I should dump my own children. What do you? could dump them and, and a charity organization could just find the children and pick them up. Is it better for these children to die in your hands of hunger and starvation? So... In the gutter. So, so you, prefer, you prefer yourself like this, eh? I told you. I told you. I don't want these children to stop me in this house. I hope you what I've said. Your they're, my, they're my children, they're my kids. But you said your twins died. Honey, I lied to you. I swear to God, you I lied. lied to me. Yes, I lied to you. They're my children. I must see them now. They're my children, yes. I want to see them now. Now? Yes, now. I want to see them. Hurry. Honey, you must hurry. You must hurry. I must see them now. Yes, come, yes. yes. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. 
You're not our mother, you. You never be I'm your mother! You got a daddy with your mother? If I take her away, I don't want to hear you. I don't want to listen to all this. I'm your mother. Where are you? Daddy, take her away. I don't want to see her here. I want you to know that I'm your mother. Hello? Hello, uh, Excellency. <laughs> yes, it's me, sir. Uh, Excellency, I, I don't know if you've uh, seen the report, sir. Well, okay, uh, well, it turns out that it, it, it's not my um, my sons that did it. Um, unfortunately, it's still within my, my family. It was my wife that was responsible for this. I, I just, I just, I'm calling because I really need to see you, sir. I, I, Excellency, please, just, just let me come and see you so you can hear me out, sir. Please. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful, sir. I, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. I'll be there, sir. upon me as the chief judge of this high court I hereby sentence the four accused persons to death by hanging may God help their souls when my face when I'm faced with hopelessness oh it Excuse me, ma. Have you have finally convicted Mrs. Chuku? What is your reaction? Well, I had to do my job. She did what was wrong and she had to be convicted. But this is to just teach, um, teach the society that you cannot get free when you do something that is wrong. She had to be convicted no matter how highly placed she is. Thank you, ma. You're welcome, my dear. Selfish 